Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this module, I am going to demonstrate how you can implement application event while creating lightning or a component. Let's start understanding application event. So if you want to implement application event in lightning or a component, so you need to implement three things. First, you need to, you need to implement application event. Then you need to uh, create two components so that uh, one component will be firing the event and uh, another will be handling that. So as you know, uh, the comparison between component and uh, application event, if you have watched my previous uh, module uh, recording on that topic. So in component event, basically it happens in parent-child hierarchy. But in application, uh, like whenever any component fires an event, so it goes to the application. And then uh, whoever uh, component is want to handle that component, uh, sorry, that event, so uh, that component can handle that application event. So if you want to create application event file, so you can go here, lightning event, and uh, uh, this event type will be application, and here you can create the attribute. Now, you need to create new lightning component. So I'm going to name it as app event notifier. So here, first you need to register the application event and uh, then this component will be firing the event and another component that will be available in the application that will be handling that uh, application event. So I'm going to register it. So or a colon register event, then name equals to app event, then type equals to C colon application event then we need to use one heading and inside heading we can use application event notifier then i'm going to use a ui button and its label will be fire application event and uh, this is the method that will be executed whenever we will be clicking on this button right so so this is app event notifier component sorry this is by mistake opened okay so here i have just uh, created a button and if you click on that button so this fire app event uh, method will be executed now what we need to do we need to implement uh, this fire app event method definition so I'm just moving to controller. So this components controller will be having the code uh, related to that method. So I'm just pasting that method name here. And inside that uh, controller, now I need to implement the uh, method definition so that whenever uh, you execute, so what uh, statements will be executed. So I'm just creating a variable app event then dollar a dot get e dot c colon application event so it is different from component event so in component event we uh, just use this event but in application event you need to use dollar a dot get and e dot c colon then application event name now you can use this app event variable to set the parameters so parameters, we need to set these, like we have a parameter message, so we need to set its value here. So message and value from application event notifier. Then app event dot fire. So what is happening here? Uh, in this variable, event information is available. And through this variable, I'm setting the parameter value. So parameter is uh, like masses, which is defined as attribute here. And this value will be assigned into this message and this event will be fired through this statement, right? So uh, this way we uh, created one component that will be registering the event and will be firing the event as well. Now I need to create one more lightning component 
So this e this component will be app event handler. So in this component, we will be handling that application event that is being fired from the component. So I just need to create aura attribute name equals to message from notifier type equals to string then aura handler event equals to c colon application event and action equals to c dot handle app event so this way basically i handled that application event and uh, when that event will be fired so uh, in this component this method will be executed and in this method uh, the statements will be available uh, for handling that application event right so now after this statement i am just creating one h1 tag and here i am writing the message application event handler so that we can recognize so both are independent components and there is no parent child relationship between these components right so you need to remember like uh, if you want to pass any message from child to parent then you will be using component event but if you want to uh, fire any event or if you want to pass message from a component to any other component inside the application so in that case you can use application event so here I'm going to use this v dot message from notifier. So I'm just pasting it here, right? So this way my uh, app event handler component uh, view is implemented. Now I'm going to define this method. So I'm just copying its name and inside this controller, I just need to uh, define this method. So here I'm going to create a variable message equals to even dot get param. So here I need to uh, write the name of the parameter. So basically, uh, in your application event, the parameter or attribute name is message. So we need to use that here. Then we need to use component dot set v dot uh, this message from notifier this attribute, and I just need to pass the Masses. So this way, in this components controller, uh, basically uh, this value uh, is passed. So I just saved it. So here you can see uh, we have two these two components: app event notifier and app event handler. Now I just need to create one more component that will be uh, known as container component. So I'm creating a container and in that container, I will be uh, calling these two, right? So here I'm writing C colon app event notifier and C colon app event handler. So this way both are uh, available together in a container now if notifier is firing any event so if handler wants to handle that event so uh, that uh, that component can handle that so now after this container component you can use your application so i am just opening a demo application and inside this demo application i am going to uh, use container and i am saving this application and clicking on preview so through that container component, both the components will be rendered here. So at top, you can see application event notifier and bottom, you can see application event handler. So if I click on this button, so uh, this button click will fire an, fire an application event and uh, on firing of that application event, a value will be passed to application event that will be fetched through this uh, component, which is handler. So if I click on this button, so you can see uh, masses is available here. Right. So this way in your uh, application from one component to any other component, if you want to pass the message. So in that case, uh, you can use this application event.